How to make soap from ashes when the world has ended, and more importantly, why would you need it? Taps are dead, disease is trying to friend you on sight, and bars of soap are now museum artifacts guarded by pigeons. You need to stay clean because infection eats idiots first. Time to turn yesterday's bonfire into your hygiene department. Start by stirring rainwater through cooled hardwood ashes until the water looks like weak tea from a grave. That's your bitter, caustic leachate. Handle like a grudge. Melt scavenged animal fat or old cooking grease over a low flame until it's liquid and vaguely apologetic. Slowly mix the cloudy ash water into the fat while stirring like you mean it. The chemistry will do the nasty work. Alkali meets fat and, after some patient cursing and heat, becomes soap and glycerin. Pour into anything that holds shape. A dented tin, a banana leaf, a shoe if you're sentimental, and let it set. Science. The alkali strips fatty chains and reforms them as soap molecules that love water and hate dirt. If it bubbles when you scrub, congrats, you made clean from catastrophe. If it bites you, wash it off and live to swear another day.